So getting started on Autodesk Inventor, once I open up the program, I'm going to click on the orange file, go down to New, hold it on New, then what I need to do is a part. Once I am on the part, and as you can see it takes a little bit of time to load, what I'm going to start with is a sketch. So I click on sketch, then I'm going to start with a rectangle. So I click on rectangle. Now it wants you to take and select a plane you want to draw on. I'm going to draw on the YZ plane. It really doesn't matter too much for this one. I'm going to take and draw um, just a simple rectangle. Now I'm going to dimension that rectangle at three inches. I'm going to zoom out now by three inches. Inside of that rectangle, actually I'm going to take and finish that sketch and I'm going to take and go to 3D model, hit extrude. Now it automatically goes to one inch and that's fine um, if I extrude it at one inch and I just click <coughs> click on the OK. I could take and change this to one and a half or three whatever but this one is one inch. Click on that. Then I'm going to go back to sketch and I'm going to take and it wants you to take and show me which part of this I want to sketch on again and of course I want it to go on this side and I'm going to start at this point and I'm going to come over here and as you can see it's exactly 3 inches by 0.838 um, that's close to what I want I would like this actually to be from here to here I'd like that to be 1 inch and I finish that sketch now as you can see I have a sketch on top of a 3D model now I'm going back to the extrude button and I am going to extrude this but this time I want to extrude at 1.5 enter and that right there is going to be my first isometric sketch on Autodesk Inventor. So we need to take a file, save as, inside your documents, type in isometric, ISO number one, and this is my sixth grade, D, and M. Okay, and that's the part. All right.